welcome um ladies and gentlemen uh you leos welcome to this reading i want to say thank you for being back thank you um for the wonderful like shares and support all right leos um everyone is having like a hard time in this month um, so truths are going to be showing up. Everyone is having some sort of a hard time. All right. So you have 52, a goddess of the moon and the moon is in the first week. Um, the goddess of the moon is here. So a lot of information, a lot of secrecy is going to be coming out. People are going to be finding exactly what has been transpiring. Then we see the seventh chakra archangel Uriel. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is the energy of the seventh chakra. Call upon Archangel Uriel and call upon the goddess of the moon. Number 18 is here. Confront. Some of you Leos have to confront yourself. Um, there is um, uh, some sort of a situation that some of you Leo has created. I see you have to really confront yourself and take a good look at yourself, at what you have done, at what you have created for other people in their lives. So, so I see um, you Leos are having really some sort of a shift. Changes coming up, number seven. Um, so your numbers are going to be a, a five, seven, nine, uh, 18, 41, and 52. So the, um, um, again, uh, five, nine, seven, 41, 18, 52. So um, there is some serious, serious secrecy that is going to be coming out, Leos. People are going to be finding out um, what has been transpiring. I see some of you are trying to find strength to deal with a um, young lady that is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Whoever this young lady is and whatever is transpiring, I see this young lady is a real piece of work, okay? This young lady is really a real piece of work whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, so whatever is transpiring and is happening, the energy of 52, um, the goddesses of the moon is bringing out things um, that you guys were keeping a secrecy. I see you are confronted by a whole lot of stuff that you guys have done. So however this is coming up and transpiring for you guys, I see a whole lot of secrecy and a whole lot of things. You're being confronted of what was happening and what was transpiring. You're definitely, definitely being confronted at this moment. So what we're seeing and what we're having and what is transpiring is that in the first week, it's a water week. The two first week is hair. So hair and water doesn't really work. You are a fire sign, a whole lot of things are going to be coming out. So um, in the second week, um, the third week, going in the fourth week, is the energy of uh, strength, okay? The energy of strength and a cycle is going to be over. A cycle is going to be over for a scorpion woman. A cycle is going to be over for a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, whoever this person is. Uh, some sort of a disappointment is coming up for this person. A cycle is going to be over. This person has done something. So um, the two first week is here. The two last week is water. Um, so you have here, you have earth, you have fire, and you have the world twice. So some sort of information is going to be coming out. And I see a cycle is going to be over. Secrecy about you, Leos, are going to be coming out. Art breaks is going to be here. Some of you, Leos, are going to be disappointed because you can't move any further. Some of you, Leos, are seeing the truth about a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion woman. Um, this is a young lady between the ages of 18 and 45. Um, this is the only person in your reading that you're going to be dealing with. Whatever is happening and transpired, or are, you are really going to be finding out that this young lady is a piece of work. This young lady is a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Whoever this young lady is, is really seriously not well. So some of you um, Leos are going to be finding out that you have gotten caught up with this young lady and um, the problems that come up in your life. And you're going to be finding out a lot of secrecy. Um, you're going to be confronted by yourself, Leos. It is a month where it is a hard month for a whole lot of people. Whatever is happening and transpiring, it is definitely a whole a hard month for a whole lot of people. 
So when we look at the energy of the moon, some sort of a secrecy about people in power and pe what people have done. Um, a whole lot of secrecy about people in power. They have done something. And they're finding out some sort of a secrecy about an Aries and a Leo. An Aries and a Libra. Okay, so people in power is finding out some sort of a secrecy about a Aries and a Leo. A whole lot of sadness is going to be coming up for you, Leos. And there is, a, um, you see no future ahead of you, Leo. So whatever is transpiring and whatever the secret came out, you see no future ahead of you, Leo. It is just, um, it, it is as if the, the universe just throw you in. Um, but it's about you clearing your karmas, Leo. Okay. So the first week is a little bit going to be heavy. Um, some secrecy is coming out about a Libra. This Libra is very deceptive. There is no good news for that is going to be coming for this Libra. This Libra is a very, very deceptive person and people are finding out and is seeing this. So be aware of this because they're going to be um, finding out what really has happened and transpired. Um, a Libra in an Aries is caught up with you, Leos. A Libra in Aries has brought you, Leos, in a situation. The second week, we're dealing with a cycle. A cycle is ending. Some of you women, some sort of issues and situations, sadness that some of you women was going through with your kids and other things around you, the cycle is going to be ending. Um, some of you, a cycle is going to be ended with a situation that you were dealing with. It is really coming up to an end. Some sort of a situation, heartbreaks that was going on. It is coming up to an end and there's going to be some sort of a disappointment. So be aware of this. Then, um, when we look, peace is going to be coming in, but, uh, um, peace is coming in, but you're going to be disappointed. So whatever is happening, some sort of a situation with your materialistic wealth and that sort of a thing. Um, so you Leos are going to be very, very disappointed. Then um, we see that um, some of you Leos who have a child that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, you're going to be seeing that this person is really off. This person has some mental issue. This person has done things that you could not even think that you could have done. You are going to be realizing how horrible a young lady that is a Pisces cancer or scorpion is and how cruel and sick this person is. I see a lot of you um, mothers are worried about your um, uh, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion young lady. You, you are very worried about this person because you realize that this person is mentally unstable. Um, the things that this person does uh, and now everything is coming out. I see a cycle is coming in. Uh, she's going to uh, end is coming. She's going to end up in prison. Then we see the third week. The third week is a judgment call for you, Leos, and you have to find inner strength to deal with some sort of a judgment call. I see peace is here. Some peace is here. Lies and deceptiveness. Peace is here. Um, you Leos are seeing the truth about a Libra and a Aries, the lies and deceptiveness of a Libra and a Aries. You Leos are definitely seeing this and how you Leos are coping with this situation is, is really crazy what is happening and transpiring. You Leos have lost, um, the power to fight anymore. Some of you Leos were hoping to receive some sort of a good news from a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman, but it is not going to be coming in. I see some of you Leos are dealing with some heavy issues and some problem that this lady has gotten you in and um, I've gotten you caught up in. A cycle is going to be over for this scorpion woman, whether the scorpion woman is, is between the ages of 18 and 45, is either a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion young lady. This person, um, a cycle is over for this person. I see people are seeing the truth and how cruel this person is and how deceptive and cruel this person is. And they are really ending a cycle. This person have no new start. It could be a cancer because the energy of the moon is coming up. Whoever this young lady is, people have seen how rigid and how sick this young person is. And they are definitely, definitely in a cycle with this young lady. I would advise you guys to take the dollar ninety nine and come and um, check out the extended to see who this young lady is because... Um, some of you, um, um, Leos have been caught up with an Aquarian, an Aries, an Aquarian, and a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. And, uh, um, you guys together have done some cruelty 
and I see the truth is now coming out in the month of October. And I see this is like karma hitting you, um, Leos, in a really um way where you need to confront yourself about what you have done. I see that karma is hitting you, Leos, so hard that you have to really confront yourself about what you have done and how you have created certain sort of an issue for other people. Secrecy is coming out about a Libran. And you, um, um, Leo, some sort of a secrecy, um, that you and a Libran have kept, um, some sort of a peace is going to be coming in, um, between you, Leos, and a, um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. They're not showing up who they are. Um, but, um, they're, you're going to be hit like a brick. Whoever has a child or in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, you're going to be dis disappointed with this person. And I see you're going to be ending a cycle with this person, whatever is happening and transpiring. You're definitely going to be ending a cycle with this person. I see the energy of, of the, the, the cycle. Some sort of a cycle is coming to an end for you, Leos. And it is going to be happening in the last week because they are going to be seeing what you, Leo, have done and the cruelty that you, Leo, have done and created um, along with other people. And uh, it is going to be hitting hard. It could be against you or it could be um, because um, especially you Leo women who have a child that is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, you're going to be thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I brought this child in this world for what this child have done. A whole lot of you mothers are going to be have to find inner strength to deal with some sort of a situation that is going to be coming up in this month. Um, I see the mothers are going to be having some sort of a disappointment, uh, dealing with some sort of an issue, finding out something about your daughter, um, some sort of a information that is going to come out about your children and the problem that your children have gotten themselves in. And you are going to be really, really um, realizing um, how um, people can involve themselves. How, um, sadness, sorrows, um, heartbreaks, uh, peace is going to be coming in. Uh, um, between you and a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. I see no communication is coming up. I see um, you have not communicated with this person, but peace is going to be coming in between you and this person. I see the energy of virtue and um, the energy of virtue has to do with some of you wanted a new start, but there's going to be some sort of a disappointing news that is going to be coming in for you, Leos, uh, and, um, and some sort of a cruelty um, you Leos are going to be um, thinking that this is cruelty or this is whatever is happening. You Leos are going to be uh, figuring out and feeling as if uh, this is cruelty that is happening to you. But it's not really cruelty. It is your karma. Remember, if we do good things, we get back good things. If we do bad things to other people, we get back bad things. And this is just how karma works. So a lot of you Leos are waiting for some sort of a communication in the month of October. It's not going to be coming in in October. I see um, this cycle is over with some sort of a um, communication um, with a Gemini, whoever this Gemini is. I see this Gemini is going to be ending all sort of a communication with you Leos. Whoever this Gemini is and whatever is transpiring, I see they are going to be ending communication with you. They're definitely going to be ending um, communication with you because they're going to be realizing um, they don't want to be caught up in whatever you Leos are caught up with. So I see some of you Leos wanted a new start. I see heartbreak and disappointment is going to be coming in. I see some sort of a secrecy came out and there is no good news that is going to be coming in. Um, I see that some of you um, have done something to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn together with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. And I see the cruelty that was transpired. I see strength. Strength is coming up because you guys have to deal with some sort of a situation. And I see a cycle is going to be over. It is not a very easy week. It, a, a month. It is a month where um, it's as if you're seeing yourself for what it is. There is just some sort of a painful situation that is going to be coming in. The seventh chakra is coming up where it's going to be affecting. There's a lot of heartbreak call upon artery and Uriel to heal it. I see you're looking for comfort in the last week because you have realized the cruelty and the dishonesty that was created around you. Wow. Whew, I can't take this. 
So Leos, um, wow, it is heavy. It is heavy, Leos, whatever is happening and transpiring. It is very heavy. I am saying to you, um, thank you so much for being here and namaste until next time. Please thumbs up, like, share these videos. Come and check out the extended because um, you will see how these situation and problems is going to be resolved in this month. Namaste. Thank you.